This is a story about a fish. And us trying to find that fish. No scientist has ever seen sandfish spawning. We, it hasn't been documented. We started the search in the Beedo River Valley, home to some curious tales about the mythical Clan William sandfish. Sarah's stories intrigued us, but years of drought had left this region desperately dry. And it was hard to imagine large schools of fish swimming through these valleys. Mysterious species in this African land, man. Africa, respect, I and I. On a bit, on a bit. On, on a bit, first. This is Jim. He's a scientist. This is Otto. He's also a scientist. But they both like to make films, mostly about me. I'm a sandfish, and my name is Onabek. Onabek Fuss. I live in the Cedarburg, South Africa. The world! I've had a few problems along the way, like all my rivers drying up. An alien fish! And now only have a few friends left. But there's this really cool project that involves... Science! With our, our powers, powers combined, combined, this is Saving Sandfish! On a bit first. It's day... Ah, uh, no, I thought I knew... Okay, I'll totally take us through a thought logic. Well, now that you kind of know what the series is all about, let's dive back into it. This is the Doring River one of the last free-flowing, undammed rivers in South Africa and home to the elusive Clan William sandfish. The Doring usually flows for two to three months of the year, after which it mostly dries up, leaving behind a scattering of permanent pools that allow sandfish to survive the summer. When the winter rains return and the riffles of the Doring once again gush with glory, Adult sandfish start migrating upriver in search of suitable tributaries in which to spawn. Ik zie moes 
wie jou een leef is en doorgevierd van kant tot kant. Hulle is zo als hulle opkomt, de mooiste is. Daar gaan hulle zo in. Dit lijkt in ek hulle pak in ek op mekaar. Dit was wonderlijk om dit te zien. Nou moet je kijken of je een zien in die water. Sandfish were once abundant in the mighty olifants and during rivers. But sadly, they have entirely disappeared from the olifants. And remaining sandfish in the Doering are only known to spawn in two tributaries, the Bido and the Orlofskloof. In the past, we had just talked about sandfish and geelfish. And that was the type of fish that we took. The sandfish was the most famous. Maar dan kom hier weer om weer terug te gaan hier op. Baie keer het ons gezien dan leerde en die keile s'ochtends vroeg dan leerde dat het hele school van ze wat boven die water lees hoe baie vissen was het. Zo. Zo dat was dat was nogal baie. En hoe lang geleden heb jij die daar groot nommers vissen gezien? Nee, toen dat is twee keer kind was. Hier was een water, groot watergat, hier zo wat water hier af, hier op gestaan het, met een diep gat, hier zo waar ons gezwemd het, een vis gevangen het. Hier zo, zien jullie water? Niks. Hearing Willem en Sarah's stories was incredibly sobering, as it appears that these ancient migrations have been reduced to nothing but stories. But there is still a trickle of hope. In really wet years, tiny sandfish have been spotted in shallow pools along the Bido River, which means that at least a few adult sandfish are returning to spawn. The problem is that these young sandfish have very little chance of surviving, but we have a plan to save them. This series chronicles the highs the of and the lows of freshwater conservation in the Greater Cedarburg. It profiles the passionate people we meet along the way and explores the ecosystems and creatures connected to the lives of the iconic Ornabek Fuss. On the next episode of Saving Sandfish! We return to the Bido River Valley towards the end of winter to explore its underwater life and maybe, just maybe, we'll be lucky enough to see spawning sandfish. On a big fish. Really freezing. My balls are like the size of millipips. I'm going to film some more, then get, get out again. If you'd like to follow along on this wild ride, make sure to subscribe below.